Hello guys and uh, welcome to 3ds Max tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I will show you how to uh, create uh, uh, nice uh, realistic uh, render using only HDRI map. So let's start. Open your uh, render setup and uh, make your primary engine for rendering uh, V-Ray. So scroll down in common, go to assign render and uh, for production set V-Ray. For now uh, we don't need this, later we will uh, adjust. Uh, here on the top view we need uh, create a camera, so go to the cameras by uh, normal standard. Use target camera and create one camera. Okay, now uh, let's just uh, set it to the center. So, on top view, on X axis, right click on that uh, arrows here and it will be set to zero. And let's uh, Raise it a little bit. Okay. Nice. Uh, now uh, we need object. Uh, for this tutorial, I will use a simple object. It's a teapot. So let's increase it a little bit and I will add some turbo smooth iterations tool. Okay. Okay, and uh, next step is uh, adding uh, something what uh, will produce you uh, for us a uh, picture and shadows and lighting. So for that we will go to uh, lights, Ch uh, change for uh, from uh, photometric to V-Ray and uh, select use this V-Ray light. And before we create we need to change type, so uh, default type is plane, so from plane change to DOM. And just create it, no matter which position is. Okay, now uh, next step, open your uh, material editor and in one empty space select it, go to the get material and scroll down until you find V-Ray HDRI. So, and open it. You will see something like this black box here. Uh, now here in bitmap Select here and find your uh, HDRI map, what you will use for uh, rendering. And when you select it, open. Now you can see we have a 2D picture. But uh, we need to create it, uh, to switch it to 3D. That means uh, we need to change mapping type. So for that, here, as you can see here is 3ds Max standard, so we need to change to spherical. So mostly of uh, HDRI maps are spherical. Okay. Now let's create. So uh, when you uh, finish this. When you are finished with this, now uh, hold and drag your map to this uh, texture field of our uh, V-Ray DOM and make sure it's by instance. Okay, now in perspective, let's change to camera so you can go right click cameras and uh, choose your camera or just praise, uh, press shortcut uh, C button. Uh, now uh, we need here, uh, let's check first how it looks. So this is default render settings V-Ray. 
So as you can see already we have some lights here but we don't have shadows and we don't have right position of our uh, map. So for that we wanna uh, play a little bit with position but how you will play, uh, play if you don't know uh, where you are. So for that let's uh, go to your camera window and go to this plus button, right click and configure viewports and go to this background and select use environment background. Now it's black but if we press number 8 it will open uh, environment and effects and open your material uh, library and again hold drag to this environment map by instance and yeah now we have our picture here so I will uh, maximize this uh, now uh, we need find right position for uh, our render to do that uh, you have here in HDRI you have horizontal and vertical rotation so if you increase or decrease your numbers here you will see some things happen so okay uh, I find that but uh, uh, one thing I just uh, make wrong is that uh, camera rising so to fix that we need uh, whoops z axis yeah so we need uh, hold our camera uh, in just straight view so just normal view and now we have a nice look of uh, HDRI map and now uh, as you can see we need to adjust uh, position of this uh, our object so how to do that uh, we need to go to our camera and from type target camera switch to free camera now go to utilities and go to perspective match and show vanish lines now uh, as you can see our image was changed that's because this is the final uh, render uh, resolution so we need to change that press F10 open your uh, V-Ray render setup and I'm using uh, for tests I'm using 1280 and 720 and for final I'm using uh, 1080p so image uh, aspect ratio is it will be same just with more details okay and uh, when we are here let's uh, finish some uh, settings in V-Ray for now let's go to V-Ray and this pro uh, from progressive change to bracket and go to color mapping and uh, just change to exponential okay uh, now uh, go here to GI and disable it we don't need GI because uh, reflections and uh, shadows everything we will have from dome light so we don't need it and here from settings let's use a uh, spherical in dynamic bucket uh, splitting because it will render from middle to end okay 
now uh, we need to find nice uh, position so this will be on this so uh, I finished I skipped this part uh, because you need uh, to find right position so uh, it need a little bit time for that so for epsilon axis I use it this uh, side as you can see and uh, this one here and from Z axis I use it this edge and this here and from a, uh, for uh, X axis I use it here and here okay uh, but as you can see uh, our uh, object is not in the right position so for that we need to uh, move it down and create some distance okay now um, we need surface uh, for cast uh, for shadows so go to this uh, geometry and standard uh, primitives and use plane and just create one plane and right click on plane v-ray properties select mate object mate uh, for refractions and refraction and shadows and uh, let's paint our object to see what we have so for better result here I will use uh, I will create one simple metal color so final uh, I find uh, the right position and to show you how it looks so uh, as you can see here behind is our uh, grid I just selected my plane and my object and move it closer to the camera to show you how it looks so let's check So our render is finished, as you can see this is a result, we have some shadows here, we have reflection, nice and clean, you can see this Tokyo uh, bit side uh, from this uh, our left side, and everything is fine, so mostly you must know uh, if you're using, uh, you must using HDRI which, uh, with more light if you wanna see more shadows so this one is uh, as you can see on night and this is the max uh, maximum of uh, producing uh, shadow so guys uh, this is it for this tutorial and thanks for watching